Hey, welcome back again. I have another 25 piece woman's mixed clothing box from Thread Up. This came once again from Duluth, Georgia. Um, I did just open it to grab the receipt out to make sure that's what it was, but I have not unpacked, not taken a peek, I swear. Um, but go ahead and check out my other two 25 um, mixed clothing lot, whatever you call it, videos. They were okay. Um, I know some people have gotten some really good stuff, but also so many flops with these boxes. Um, but it's kind of the only box really steadily available on ThreadUp currently as a rescue box um, to really bulk your inventory. So to me, it's worth the risk being less than $3 a piece. If you can get a few, you know, that will sell in that $20 range, then you already have covered the box and anything else is just kind of pure, smaller profit trickling in. But we shall see what we got and what I think after this box, I guess. Be the guinea pig for you so you can decide if it's something you want to take the gamble on as well. First is this coral. My daughter's just playing in the other room, so you might hear some baby noises. But coral with a K. I'm guessing a swim top. Feels very high quality, but really not sure. But it's this kind of like shimmery brown and this cute striped detail in the back. The straps like crisscross, they're kind of stretchy. So we'll look into that. This is like Mary, is that what that says? Oh my, what are these called? I forget. They're like, they have the really like low like drop crotch pants. Like, you know, the kind of like hippie yoga. They have pockets like and then they cuff kind of down at the bottom, but this is all like a pant, right? Yeah, I have no idea what these are called, but it's like smocked at the top. No idea about this brand, I'm just still standing. Don't see a size. Oh, maybe I do. No, just 100% cotton made in India. So yeah, let me know, what are these pants called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like free people has them and stuff. I don't know. We will have to figure that out. Um, soul? Is this, this isn't soul cycle, right? Oh yeah, it is. Soul Cycle Performance, size extra small. Okay. I've never um, found this brand before, so I wasn't really sure. And this doesn't seem to be like a Lululemon collab or anything, but it's cute little like floral print with the logo. That should sell, I would imagine. This, I'm guessing, is just online because it's just like small <laughs> like that's all it is no brand pretty like fuchsia magenta color though yeah i would say this is like made in china just an online thing but just a little skater type dress only here for drake <laughs> okay thanks for letting us know I don't see a brand on this, so I don't know, will this be like a concert tee? I have no idea. That's cute, like swooped arms. Don't even see a size, so no idea about that. Next we have A.G. Adriano Goldschmidt, I can never say it. Um, the jegging, that's like a black corduroy, super skinny fit, size 31, so a good scat size. Yeah, seem to be good shape, so it'll be good for fall. 
Next we have Banana Republic, size extra small, striped, um, like v-neck, just basic tee. I thought this was Lululemon for a second, but it is head, which I think is golf. Not really sure now, but it's pretty purple tank top and it's like that see-through breathable striping. I don't see a size. It looks like it was cut out. Hi. Then we have universal thread, size six or 28 short. Jeans, straight leg. She wants to be by me. Mid-rise skinny. And we have Chico's, 52% linen, 48% silk, size one. Long sleeve, very lime green. I don't really have a problem selling Chico's. I usually can sell it pretty consistently, not for a lot of money, but. Then we have Loft. Size medium, really cute jean, like mechanic overalls, <laughs> little pockets in the back, but it buttons up in the front, and these sleeves I think roll up or you can wear them down, but super cute, it does though, did have like a drawstring through here, and it's gone, so that will kind of hinder selling that a little more. And this is One Clothing, Los Angeles, usually sold at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, just a little cold shoulder top, Banana Republic outlet or factory, size small, really pretty coral color though, little top. Then we have Gap Fit, size small, ankle legging. And it's, well, not legging, but yoga pant. <laughs> no idea how the Gap Fit stuff does. I feel like not that well. Okay, this is connected. <laughs> this is new with the Marshalls tag. It's green envelope, which I've only seen like at Marshalls. But this tie-dye top connected dress. So this might do okay with the current tie-dye trend, and it's new, so that obviously helps. Okay, and our last bunch here, they kind of like roll it, which is nice, but it's always hard to find the beginning. First is D by Limited, size eight to seven. Not heard of that brand but this dress, it's kind of outdated, but kind of cute right now. The print's a little interesting. It's these pockets. I just like the like neckline of it. Very vintage inspired, I'd say, neckline. Um, next is Counterparts. I want to say like Macy's it's sold at. Not, don't quote me on that. But size 14. Just like a dress pant. Needs to be zipped. <laughs> That's what's happening here. Next is Talbot's Petite, Six Petite, White Pant. I'll really have to look at these under lighting um, to see just because white, obviously. Very prone to staining, but very nice. Again, dressy pant. We have Karen Scott Sport, size large. It's cute. It's like the, the neck detail is cute. But this I think is sold at department stores. So if I sell it, maybe $10, I would say. And this is a Lucy, size small, athletic tank. Love this print, it's really pretty. There's the Lucy. 
and I really am a fan of um, this line or brand, but reselling, it really doesn't bring in a whole lot. Usually I haven't ever even picked it up, but being given it in this box, I'll definitely list it and I don't know, maybe 10 or $15, I'd say. It's my guess. Then this is Hazel, size large. I'll show you this tag, it's interesting. But this is a maxi skirt, very boho vibes. Has the little tie wrap thing here. Or, oh, I think it's like a skirt with like suspender type thing. That's cute. Be awesome if I could find a stock photo. Next is Sophia by Vix. Is this a lot anthropology? Can't remember now. Here's the tag. Definitely looks like one that would be found there. And it says Sophia on the back. But this looks like a really cute, I guess maybe cover up. I think Vix is a swim line. But okay, it's hard to show you. These strings might be like put in wrong, I'm not sure. But I think it's a little romper and it's completely open in the back. Really cute. Then we have an old navy. The classic shirt size small it's like black and white buff check flannel this will probably sell for like ten dollars coming fall that print that buffalo check is just still really popular then this is xoxo size medium and this is an orange really roughly scoopy whatever tank top not a great brand their last piece is Ann Taylor Loft, size extra small, little top, and has the cute little peplum on the bottom, really pretty color. But that is it. Um, yeah, I would say this box is fine, better than my first one. Still nothing amazing, but I know I can definitely sell some of these pieces for hopefully a few, at least in the $15, $20 range, and then some more in the $10 range. I don't know if I'll list all of it. I'll definitely put some priority towards some more than the others. But um, yeah, not disappointed. Like I said, paying less than $3 a piece, you really can't be disappointed. So, well, I mean, you could, I guess, if you got all garbage. But with this, I'm not disappointed. It's kind of what I expect. You always hope, obviously, for like the big, oh, like a Patagonia, like fleece or like you know, Lululemon jacket, like something like a big piece that you could sell for 60 to to $100, but that's really not going to happen. It happens, but the odds are very low. But yeah, I'm okay with it. So let me know what you guys thought. Um, what did you think about it? What have you thought of my other boxes so far? And I will, I guess, see you guys later. Stay tuned for more and have a great rest of your day. See ya!